Hi everyone, Clemente Zeiss, common bacterial sexually transmitted infection uh, found all over the world. Uh, it's most commonly found in those aged under 25 years, um, but it can infect anyone uh, of any age if they're sexually active. Uh, in women, uh, chlamydia can spread from the neck of the womb, otherwise known as the cervix, uh, to the uterus, um, and then to the fallopian tubes, and then the ovaries. And so this is called pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID, and PID increases the risk of infertility, uh, as well as ectopic uh, pregnancies. In men, uh, chlamydia can uh, spread from the urethra to the testicles, causing pain and also swelling of the testicles. Uh, so testing is available in most places around the world. Um, so in the UK, uh, specifically, it's at uh, sexual health or genital urinary medicine clinics, but sometimes they, they can be called family planning clinics. Uh, you can also get it from some family doctors as well. Uh, and also even your local pharmacy can offer testing. In some areas, self-testing kits can be ordered online and you send off your urine or your swab uh, sample be it from your uh, mouth, vagina, rectum, or, or a pee sample uh, from uh, in men, for example. And so if you are going to do um, a self-testing kit, uh, you, you must make sure that you send off uh, your urine or swabs uh, to the lab. And in terms of other sexually acquired infections, uh, obviously you also need to test for uh, syphilis and HIV. So how is it passed? Chlamydia is passed on through uh, unprotected uh, sex using no condom, and that could be either vaginal, oral, or anal sex. Uh, you can also do it by sharing sex toys that are not uh, cleaned, and you share those toys with someone who has uh, chlamydia. It can also be from an infected mother to a baby during a childbirth uh, via vaginal delivery, and sometimes from the genitals to fingers and then to eyes, uh, and that causes, uh, as I said, uh, conjunctivitis. You can't get it um, uh, uh, you know, from hugging, kissing, sitting on toilet seats, sharing towels, or swimming, etc. Uh, uh, so you, you can't get it through non-sexual uh, means. I advise patients to have a chlamydia test at their first visit to a sexual health clinic, especially if they've noticed any kind of symptoms, for example, vaginal or penile discharge or pain uh, while passing water. So there is a, um, a possible risk that if you do test uh, soon after you've been infected with chlamydia, you may get a, um, you may not find an infection. Uh, and that's why we always advise to retest uh, two weeks, um, at least uh, two weeks after uh, your last uh, episode of uh, risk of catching chlamydia. Uh, but chlamydia, please note, is very easily treated with antibiotics. Uh, the current treatment in most of the world now is doxycycline 100 milligrams twice a day uh, for seven days. As chlamydia is, is sexually transmitted, it is important that your partner is also tested for other sexually transmitted infections uh, as well. Um, and uh, this is basically known as partner notification and sometimes your partner will be just given uh, the treatment straight away but we'd always advise uh, partners they should be tested and given the full range uh, and given a full uh, sexual health screen as well and please remember you can catch chlamydia again so to prevent um, uh, this make sure that uh, you and your partners are uh, treated uh, protect yourself with new partners using a condom for all vaginal anal or oral sex if you can and ensure that both you and any new partners have a sexual health screen before you throw away the condoms if you're under 25 years of age and have a high number of sexual partners then you should um, take another chlamydia test about three months after being treated for chlamydia and this um, then uh, as often as required. Uh, it could be once a year um, uh, or uh, anytime you have uh, a new sexual partner. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.